Scratch, walk one. Bless up, bless up all of my viewers, all of my subscribers out in the world. Hope you all doing well. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell if you haven't as yet. So people, today we're gonna catch up on Vibes Cartel Court hearing. We also have a thing to talk about, Damian Marley. Plus, recording artist Medic, some confirmation after, you know, her remains found. And we also have a thing to talk about, Sizzler plus Spice and the Angel them as well. So stay tuned people, stay tuned! Yo, Reggae Media TV! Badder than everything we bad, and we madder than everything we mad. So bless up once again, people. Right here, vibes cartel retrial hearing. We see it out in the media that court to hand down decision by July 31st. Yes, people, bless up once again. So we see right here, this is another process. Yes, people is like fans eager to hear what gonna be the outcome and the public as well so we see a recent article from the jamaica gleaner which came out yesterday the court of appeal says it will hand down its judgment on whether entertainer vibes cartel should be retried for murder by july 31st the lead judge said right here yes people justice marva mcdonald bishop the question of a retrial is never a easy decision for a court of law, especially when it involves serious offenses and lengthy delays. It's gonna take us some time, but the court is mindful of the need for expedition in this matter. So moving along the next topic right here, a post-mortem has revealed that the body of dancehall artist Medic, whose real name is Stephanie Williams, who went missing, had shot wounds. Yes, people arising from that post-mortem DNA analysis revealed that skeleton remains of a body that was found in a cane field in February is actually Medic, you know, Stephanie Williams. So with the cause of her death, being fatal gunshot wound, the matter was today upgraded to a case of murder. Williams went missing on or about Thursday, August 24, 2023. A missing person report was made to the Constant Spring Police Station by her mother. As a result of the report, the police commenced a missing person and possible murder investigation. In February, a police search resulted in the discovery of skeleton remains of a body in a cane field in Wallen District, St. Catherine. The remains were checked and removed to Linstead Hospital where it was examined. The police also retrieved items of clothing and jewelry at the scene. Well, this took a while for the officers them find out all of this, but the family, the public space waiting on this news so we can now confirm that medic got taken out in that farmer way channel so during a recent interview with the fix we see right here sizzler revealed that bad police record caused his visa to be taken away not his homophobic lyrics Sisla highlighted factors that contribute to having a work permit, including how a person conducts themselves, treats others, and whether they are involved in any criminal activities. Additionally, Sisla indicated that he is unbothered by the previous visa issues, which he said was his same reaction to being banned from various countries and events in the past. So Damien Juna Gang Marley active up to drop a lot of songs on the way well recently we see Damien Juna Gang Marley drop a new song right here entitled Wise Men yes people a recent article from South Florida Caribbean news but anyway a lot of people still looking out for this project right here we see Damien Marley working on you know it's like people are wonder if this gonna be a short film based on the clip with him see circulating at one point the police them pull up on the scene pull over Mark X as I can see Damien Marley in at the background behind the scene people welcome to them mind already you know one of them settings like welcome to jam rock song <laughs> yes people so right here me don't know if Damien Marley I go take a while for drop this or not but 
a lot of people already see the behind the scene clips you know circulating and them want wonder what one them want that song them want know where Demi and Marley up to but for now y'all can check out his new single right here wise men yes people I'm gonna share the link in the comment section and pin it so y'all can check that out after watching this vlog you know probably Demi and Marley just had dropped this one before when I get the other one when the police them pull over the vehicle and thing you know seem like Demi and Marley rough up that single to how people are going it's like them can't wait for it drop the project the video everything Skadesh. so moving along the next topic right here another thing pertaining to vibes cartel so we see it out on dancehall mag in closing arguments on tuesday a defense attorney for vibes cartel compared the anonymous jamaican crime blogger sir p to the fictional gossip writer lady whistledown from the Netflix series Brigaton. The oral argument spanning six days concluded yesterday in the Court of Appeal as attorneys for Vibes Cartel, his co defendants Sean, Sean Storm Campbell, Kahira Jones, and Andre St. John, and the Office of the Director of Public Prosecutions debated whether the retrial should be held for the murder of Clive Lizard Williams. The hearing follows the UK based Privy Council March ruling, which overturned the four men's convictions due to jury tampering and referred the case back to the local court. On Tuesday, Vibes Cartel attorney Isaac Buchanan, among other things, expressed concern about potential jury bias influenced by social media, especially the YouTube channel Politrix Watch, hosted by Sir P, which is known for its commentary on crime and law enforcement in Jamaica. Buchanan highlighted the unregulated nature of gossip surrounding the case and its influence on public opinion akin to the character in Brigaton. Lead Justice Marva McDonald Bishop remarked, you should have brought Gossip Girl too. <laughs> but Buchanan insisted that Politric Watch has significant sway over public perceptions. In a media release over the weekend, the Jamaica Constabulary Force had to dismiss viral claims that Deputy Superintendent of Police, Trivial Houghton, was the individual behind Politrix Watch. Yes, people, meanwhile, on Tuesday, another defense attorney, John Clark, acknowledged that mere publicity does not suffice to oppose a murder trial, but emphasized that significant prejudice from the initial trial and public assumptions about jury tampering need to be addressed. Clark also cited special circumstances in the case, such as key evidence being publicly accessible, making it challenging to secure an impartial jury. Yes, people, so the acting director of public prosecutions, Claudette Thompson, argued that despite the publicity, Cartel and his co accused could still receive a fair trial by an unbiased jury. She asserted that the criminal justice system has safeguards to mitigate prejudice, suggesting that pre trial publicity should not heavily influence the decision on a retrial. So the angel name got caught up in spy saga. People, you know, from the other day, I'm mean, not to, to talk about them mix up baga baga topic here. Yeah. You know, it's like right here, I just a feature a video with the angel, and it's like her name get caught up in a spice controversy. Remember, spice came out with the song, and you know, we say the angel, the HQ, the angel talk about spice our baby father and all of them thing they walk one is like spice accuser of you know taking her baby father but then and you know he's like dhq danger response say it is it wasn't anything like that is like spice baby father r-a-p-e her you know instead of her sleeping with him but it's like spice call out a lot of people and once again we see them go back and forth back and forth so it's like the angel name go get mentioned and the angel just come out now and I address it check it out bless up on yourself people scratch guidance protection for the rest of the day bless up on yourself i will never be in your circle you understand me i say 
So if you want to sit down and congregate, please take my name out. Hold on, hold on, please. Give me two seconds. Two seconds. My beggar, two seconds. So if you want to call up, name. When I realize all oh, my thing I do, my thing I step different, my thing I try different, one different journey, me different. So if you want to call name, don't call my name in a circle, don't call my name in a mouth. Stop calling up my name. When you know me enough, when you go out with me enough, when you try to do everything to kill me, tear down my career, and make me go down to zero, I want to realize that the angel's still there, pretty and fabulous, and I live our best life. You understand what I say? Because I'm my time now for just the vibes. You understand what I say? So that's a low moment prosper because everything I do, it just did not work. I'm going to leave me alone with the money done with the man. And the man telling me, say, in can not do nothing more for you. Because I got me a walk with. You understand my hands, them clean. No man never see my face I get a dollar from ENG. I never try to tear down my body. I never try to walk on my body like I don't walk on me. I don't blacklist me. I don't do everything to stop me. And I'm there the same way. Because the mercy I got of me and God of me. So what God have you, no man can test you. They say they understand me. I said, no weapon to rise against me can't prosper. So I'm just leave me out on the gossip. Out. Yo, reggae media TV, bada dan, everything we bad. Are we mad at dan? Everything we mad. Subscribe now. You hear that?